All right, so here is the Porter cable. 20 volt, half inch impact wrench. Um, you know, the first thing I noticed, obviously, when I, I took it out of the box, is it looks very similar to the DeWalt brushed impact wrench half inch that came out a long time ago. Um, I like it. You know, can I recommend it? At the price point, um, you know, what is good, you do get a four amp hour battery. And like I said on Instagram and on other videos, Porter Cable's batteries are pretty expensive. Um, you know, I've seen this one battery, this four amp hour battery for $99 at Lowe's. So obviously the price might come down to 89 or 79 when they have sales, but it's a pretty expensive uh, battery and they're they're kind of hard to find also. So, you know, if you're looking for an extra battery, a 4 amp hour battery, this kit might make more sense, but it's $160. And, you know, right now at Home Depot, you can get the new brushless rigid half inch, um, you know, four speeds on it for $159. Um, you know, it's 450 foot pounds compared to 330 with this one. Um, just to go over some of the specs, like I said, it's 330 max foot-pounds. Now, that's tightening. It's not nut-busting. Usually, with nut-busting torque, you're going to get a little bit more. Probably around the 400 to 425 range. Again, that's just a guess. Um, you got 1,700 max RPM, 2,500 um, IPM impacts per minute. It's 6 pounds with this battery on it. So it's, it's not heavy, it's, it's, you know, the big thing is it's just a huge impact wrench. Uh, it's 9.9 .9 inches. Um, you know, you, you wish that Stanley Black & Decker would really invest in their Porter Cable line more. Um, I hear it all the time. Um, you know, the reason why Porter Cables, people love them, is because they're made... You know, kind of just like the Waltz are made. So you're kind of getting that the Walt craftsmanship to a degree, um, but with the Porter Cable name on it. So, I mean, I don't think I've come across a brand that has such a cult following than these Porter Cables. Um, but they are, they, are, they are good. But in this particular case, the price point of this, it, it's, again, it, it's hard to recommend it. Um, it is brushed. There's no speed settings on it. I just think there's better buys. But if you're in a Porter Cable platform um, and you have the batteries, you could buy this as a bare tool for like $119, I believe. But um, yeah, just to go over it, um, you know, it's not the most powerful impact wrench. Obviously, it, it's classified as a mid-torque, I would say. They don't really classify it, but... You know, it's going to do pretty much whatever you throw at it. 330 foot-pounds. Um, obviously, if you need anything more than, you know, 330 foot-pounds, you're not going to be using it. But if you use it for what it's intended for, you're going to have no problems with it. Uh, it's got a nice grip on it. I love the batteries. Um, how you can take them on and off, like I said, you pretty much just press down and the battery comes right off. Uh the charger you get with the kit is one of their cheapo ones. Again, it works fine, guys. Um, and some people might like it because they take up less space. Um, actually, I have one plugged in right here. So, you know, with some of their other stuff, their older models, they had this charger. Um, and they probably charge both at the same amps. It's just, you know, I guess Stanley Black & Decker wants to save money. But all in all, it's a it's a it's a good impact wrench, guys. You know, I, I recommend it for people who are obviously in the platform. If you're not in a platform, um, you know, I think there's better buys. That rigid, you know, you get the LSA, you get a four amp hour battery. Again, a brushless impact wrench with substantially more torque. You know, 450 to 330. You get the four speed settings, but um. You know, it's uh, I, I like the hog ring on it. It's really hard to get the sockets on. Uh, that's very common when, you know, it's brand new. But I like that 
you know, they're hard to, to get on, so they're hard to get off. Um, I like that. The one thing with the rigid Gen 4X impact wrench, another gripe on that one is the sockets, they don't stay on the anvil. They just come right off. Um, and that's a detent pin, too. So that's, that's kind of weird. Um, but all in all, great. You got some nice rubber overmolds to protect it. Um, on the sides here in the back, again, the grip's real nice. You got a light on the bottom. Again, that seems to be getting popular again. It's on no delay. So once you let go of that trigger, the light's going to go off. So that's another, you know, it's just, you know, like I said, it's, Really, the old DeWalt brushed impact wrench, um, you know, that's been out a long time. They kind of just changed some of the, the plastic and the rubber overmolds on it. Looks very similar. But all in all, I like it if you're in the Porter Cable platform. I mean, if you can get it for, you know, $129 with the battery, I'd say go for it. Um, you know, the, the, another thing, the, the, the Ryobi right now. People have been commenting on my videos that it's $99 with the 4 amp hour battery. So this is 160 you know, and with the Ryobi, you're getting, you know, three speeds on it. You don't get really any speeds with this. I mean, that's, uh, you know, when it comes to the speed settings on impact drivers, it's kind of cool to have that. But on impact wrenches, I think the speed settings are really important. You know, you might not want to over torque some certain things, you know, to use a tool that has 330, you know, foot pounds and you're trying to put a lug lug nut on something that should be torqued at 80. You know, if you had that those speed settings, you can kind of, you know, set it on speed one and it might go up to 75, 80. So, but it's about it. Uh, you can get it at Amazon. I'll put the link below. If anyone is interested, um, again, I think if you're going to get this, if you're in the Porter Cable platform, you're really looking for another 4 amp hour battery. And, um, you know, you need an impact wrench, basically. And you don't want to go out of the platform. And, again, this will do the job for you. You're not going to have any problems with it if you're in the Porter Cable platform. So, any comments, questions, let me know. We'll catch you on the next one.